On our bookshelf tonight, a leader recognized for her success in the tech economy and philanthropy, Jean Case has spent years traveling and meeting Americans from many backgrounds and writes about her formula for overcoming doubts and achieving one's dream. We sat down this week to talk about her book, Be Fearless, and why she wanted to share lessons from her own life. Well, I'll tell you, I've been really fortunate, Judy, through my work in different roles, including my nearly 20 years in the tech sector, of traveling both around the United States and around the world and seeing that people everywhere have one thing in common, and that is that they have ideas about how to make a better world. And too often what I would observe is they have great ideas, but they got caught up in this idea that maybe it takes a special genius or graduating from the right school or connections. So about six years ago, the Case Foundation, where I serve as CEO, we undertook some research to take a look at the core qualities of people who do break through. And Judy, it was really great news because we were able to debunk this myth that it takes these super special qualities and instead brought forward five principles that are present wherever transformational breakthroughs take place. There are these five principles in the book, and you, throughout the book, are sprinkled stories about you've had the opportunity to meet some pretty amazing people, uh, Oprah Winfrey, uh, Elon Musk, and, and the list goes on. And yet, for, for all of them, virtually, you describe how it didn't, they just, just didn't wake up one morning and they were successful. I'm really trying to take the reader behind the scenes of their stories and show them that their path to success was lined with failure. Um, you know, I have a chapter in there called Fail in the Footsteps of Giants. But most of the stories, as you know, are really stories most people have never heard before. And, you know, really these are ordinary people who do extraordinary things. And that's the main message of the book. The principles are there as a roadmap, but the stories are there to really bring the principles to life and show how anyone can take a big idea forward. And threaded throughout the book is your own story, Jean Case. You grew up in a small city in, in Illinois. Yeah, normal Illinois. Normal <laughs> Illinois, we love the name. <laughs> uh, your mother, by then a single mom, took you and your siblings to South Florida where that's you right. finished finished school, you went on, you got a job working in politics, made your way to Washington, but you write that you, even you, had doubts uh, about what you were doing and where you were going. Definitely. When I was in South Florida as the youngest of four kids my mom was raising while she was working full-time as a waitress, I was on full scholarship at the private school. Um, and of course today I have the you know unique American privilege of being able to have had a life that will now allow me to use my resources to empower others. But yes, what I noticed was when I was in these more elite environments around my private school, I would watch and listen to people but then I'd go home to my working class neighborhood and I would see people had the same capacity. They had the same kind of ideas. And really from an early, early age, I realized it was actually just opportunity that wasn't equal in my neighborhood. And you were just telling me that one, the, the audience you hope to truly reach with the book, it's obviously a, a lot of people, but you want to reach people who live in the heart of this country. That's correct. But who may not feel connected that's right. To what's happening and what's growing and what's succeeding. That's right. You know, I think we have gotten a little caught up uh, in putting too much spotlight on Silicon Valley and California, on, you know, the coast, if you will. But what we know is most of the Fortune 500 companies, in fact, over 70% of them, were founded between the coasts in a lot of the towns that we think of today as sort of time gone by. There is amazing innovation. You know, I talk about two young co founders in Pittsburgh who have a company they started called soul power. So it's an insole that you put in the shoe and as you walk it generates power that you can use to charge your mobile phone or other devices. So the military sees that as a terrific potential battlefield solution. So the kind of innovation we're seeing from across the country but particularly the nation's heartland is really exciting. You and your husband Steve, you get in your camper uh, RV we do. every summer for Air a few swing. weeks, yeah, and drive around. We to do just the middle of America. Right. Try to stop and, and say hello, get to know people a little bit. What are we missing here in Washington and, yeah. and in the big media centers about right. what's going on? Right. Well, obviously, we are living in a divided time, and I do think a lot of people feel 
you know, gripped by fear and discontent, one of the principles in the book is reach beyond your bubble. And, you know, whether we like it or not, we are all living in our own bubbles. We don't know enough people different from us to understand their perspectives or to have kind of a different point of view. So we like to go out into the country in small towns and different places where we know people are quite different than we are. Um, or we suspect they are often when we go in and we find sort of talent and remarkable people almost in any setting as we sit out there. But it really, that's not how people see, unfortunately, the world today. And we're being very purposeful in trying, I am, in trying to highlight these stories in the book to make it clear that great people are everywhere. Right. And, that, and that they are listened to and can be appreciated. That's right. And if they have an idea, this is a playbook to get them started. Gene Case, the book is Be Fearless, Five Principles for a Life of Breakthroughs and Purpose. Thank you. Thanks, Judy.